Too vinegary. <laughs> it's that time, guys. The final countdown to the reinvention of the Wolverine. What's the plan and what does that look like? Stay tuned to find out. as creative as the Wolverine gets. Guten Tag, mein Vielfresser. I hoffe alles is gut. Good afternoon, my Wolverines. I hope all is good. The German lessons are doing are going pretty good. I think I know enough German so as to where non-German speakers can say, that dude knows German. And the German folks can say to the other non-German speakers, no, no he can't. I'm a work in progress. Or at least a piece of work. It's almost time for the reinvention of the Wolverine to kick off. The greatest one-year transformation of an over-the-road, big rig truck driver that YouTube has ever seen. The body, mind, and financials. We won't be covering the German lessons today, nor the financials. That will be covered in another video. So that leaves my body. How am I going to do all this? Let's reconvene in the Wolverine kitchen for recipe time with the Wolverine. Das Unskin. Welcome to the Wolverine kitchen, take number 512. Now before I get to showing you some Wolverine recipes for the process that I'm going to be going through, there's a few things we should probably discuss so that what I'm doing will probably make a little bit more sense. First and foremost, the food pyramid. We've all been fed a bill of goods. Back in the 1950s, there's, and on the internet, there's all kinds of investigative reports that were done that showed back in the 1950s, the sugar growers, the sugar industry, paid off some scientists when the government was doing a study to say that to vilify fats grains and sugars and stuff was fine fats are bad fats are bad for your health do a little bit of research on the internet and you'll find out that fats can be healthy for you sugar is what's doing all the damage look at the rates of diabetes from then to now look at the rates of, of obesity more people are uh, morbidly obese today than there was at any time in history up to this point. The food pyramid has gotten us in such a bad place that it affects everybody from losing people you love to paying higher insurance premiums, dying early, the whole thing is bad. The food pyramid is garbage, okay? So, what does that have to do with what I'm about to show you? Well, what I'm gonna be doing is two things. I'm going to be doing a hybrid keto, which is high fat, moderate protein, as close to zero carbohydrates as possible, and uh, tie that in with one meal a day slash intermittent fasting. Tie that in with a warrior keto one meal a day, which is actually one meal every other day. Now before you go all nuts and crazy on me and say, hey, Wolverine's going to be starving himself. and it, No, it's not like that. There's this phenomenon called autophagy. The long and short story of it is, autophagy is when your body will, in, when there's no other nutrients going in, so the cells, see, this is why I'm going to take 5, I'm, I'm not doing a take 513. Autophagy is when you don't eat for a little while. Generally, it's uh, 18 to 24 hours. Your body cells will eat each other. Not the good cells, the bad cells. So it'll turn on itself. It'll eat the bad parts of it for energy. And your cells will make new parts to go on to the bad cells or make brand new good cells. And it's kind of like an anti-aging thing. It helps cure 
there's a lot of studies out there to help cure some autoimmune things, and there's do some research, all right? <clears throat> I just want to get this video over with. I've been working on this video for I don't know how long. Let's do some recipes. The first thing I want to show you is my very special keto Wolverine coffee. I'm telling you, this stuff is awesome. Let me flip the camera around and I'll show you how I make it. Wolverine coffee. Get yourself a mug. Put coffee in it. Get yourself some Wolverine keto coffee fixings. This is going to be very scientifically measured out. Turmeric. Great for inflammation. Uh, back when I was lifting weights really heavily, I used to get this thing called DOMS, Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness. I used to go to the health food store and pay a lot of money for the supplement called curcumin. Basically, it's turmeric in high doses. And that would make where I could walk again. Um, really great for inflammation. Flip it open. About that much. Boom. Cinnamon. 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 Uh, this has some very good uh, anti-inflammatory uh, properties as well. Plus it tastes good. Flip it open. About that much. Cayenne pepper. Do a little research about the magic that capsaicin does and has in your body. Anti-inflammatory, helps with um, insulin sensitivity, all kinds of things. Flip it open. About that much. If you just have to, well, let's grab Himalayan pink salt. This is one of the things that goes into that nasty water I'm going to show you in a few minutes during the fasting phases. Um, helps with your electrolytes. This is some good stuff. You don't want to go overboard because it'll make your coffee taste pretty salty. But Oh, that's a new, hold on, I got a, I got a, uh, here we go. That's the one I have been using. Still, you can see that. Himalayan pink salt. About that much. Put it in there. Unsweetened Hershey's cocoa. There's a lot of flavonoids in the cocoa that is beneficial for your body. I have a spoon in there somewhere. Big old heaping sucker. Now this is unsweetened so you're going to have to put some sweetener in it unless you like the bitter. I kind of like the bitter taste. I do put a little stevie in it, but about that much, boom. Stevia packets. Make sure it's stevia. You don't want anything that's got dextrose, maltodextrin, any of that stuff because that will trigger an insulin response. Stevia is an all-natural, sugar-free sweetener. It will not touch your insulin at all. And when you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to avoid insulin spikes. I'll go more into the science on that stuff a little later. Anyway, put one of those bad boys in there. Done. Butter. Real butter, not margarine. This is unsalted because if you remember, I put the Himalayan pink salt in there. 
Uh, this is grass fed. I don't know the brand, but grass fed butter for the fats. How much? About that much. This is all scientific, guys. Organic coconut oil. I probably should have prepared for this video a little bit better and had all my facts of about medium medium chain triglyceride molecules, this, that, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get yourself some organic coconut oil and shut up. Put that in there. About that much. Sometimes getting it off the spoon could be a little hard, but my coffee's pretty hot. Stir it up a little bit. Set the spoon over here. Put the lid back on. Do a little shaky shake. Oops. Shaky shake action. Let the pressure out so coffee doesn't spray all over me. We're not done yet though. Open that bad boy up. Go in the fridge here. Heavy whipping cream. Don't get it. <clears throat> don't get uh, half and half milk. It's got lactose in it. Lactose converts to a form of sugar. Get yourself some heavy whipping cream. Open that bad boy up. This is a new one, so I gotta take the little tab off. Ugh. And put in a nice little dollop of cream. Oops. Put the lid back on. It's back in the refrigerator. Oops. Uh, put the lid back on again. Give it a shaky shake. By now the butter and the uh, coconut oil should be melted and combined. If you have a magic bullet, you put it in the magic bullet, it, it does wonders. I really love it. I got a magic bullet right here. But I'm going to use that for a demonstration about something in a few minutes. There you go. There you have it. Wolverine Keto Coffee. This stuff is awesome. You don't want to drink it all day though because it has a fair amount of calories in it and you can easily drink a day's worth of calories so on the days that I will be doing the fasting which will be Tuesday Thursday and over the weekends there will be no keto coffee at all which sucks because I love this stuff matter of fact I love the keto coffee so much that even if I wasn't doing keto I would still make it this way you gotta try it let me flip this camera around for a second keto coffee Wolverine style. I'm telling you, you guys got to try it. The energy you get from it, it's out of this world. I'm serious, you really got to try this some good stuff. All right, so much for the keto coffee. Now, let me pick up the mess for the keto coffee, and I will show you on the Monday, Wednesdays, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays of food eating which will be dang it one meal a day will consist of get my stuff out of the way here oops don't forget that might have to edit this part out I really don't want to I've been working on this stuff I keep tripping over my tongue I'm not a natural speaker on YouTube folks what do you want However, get that stuff out of the way, get the butter out of the way, one more drink of this. This should be illegal. Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays is a form of a mono diet. I got stuff everywhere. It's a form of a mono diet. I chose chicken and salad. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, take my happy ass on to Walmart, 
get a salad. You can mix a salad dressing. That's ranch. It should be okay, but you don't know ingredients wise if there's uh, extra added sugar or anything. Well, what you can do is you take a little bit of um, apple cider vinegar and maybe some olive oil. There you go. Whip it up. You got a vinaigrette. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, keto salad. In addition to that, because remember, I'm not trying to starve myself here. I'm trying to get my calories in a with windows, a long window in between. A rotisserie chicken from Walmart. Now this is a big sucker. This is uh, two pounds, twelve ounces. So if I eat half of this, it's about a pound and a half. Between a pound and a half of this and, a, and uh, one of these, and two keto coffees, maybe the second one not use the butter. No, I have to have the butter. Cut down a little bit, like half the amount of butter, half the amount of coconut oil, or even skip the coconut oil altogether. Um, that is a full day's worth of calories. Okay? Keto coffee. In the meantime, interim, in the interim, all right, man, that stuff's making my table wet. It's driving me nuts. Be right back. Matter of fact, hold on, please. I'm back. Forgot where I was in the video because I had to clean up a little bit, but I'm back. All right, so here's the here's the thing that is kind of the secret linchpin to this whole thing. It's going to really make it work. It's the uh, salt water. Now... I'm going to warn you ahead of time, it tastes like absolute ass, but it's got everything in it that your body needs, the electrolytes and everything, that if you can get past the taste, and if you can get past a day or two, if you're going to do it for an extended period of time, and you jump into ketosis, it gives your body the electrolytes, so if, if like let's say you stopped eating entirely, and you just weren't going to eat, you're just going to drink plain water, you're going to feel hungry because your body's going to get depleted on electrolytes. And if you don't have those electrolytes, your body's going to be sending, your brain's going to be sending uh, signals to your stomach. Listen, you need to eat. I don't got everything that I need. So that's going to give you the urge to eat. But if you give your body electrolytes, your body is tricked into saying, I got what I need. I've got, you know, the pizza that the idiot ate two years ago over here on the side. I think I'll have that for lunch today. So, without further ado, whoa, wait, before I show you how to make that, let me, uh, let me give you a little, school you up on the miracles of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is the nectar of the gods. I'm not talking about flavor, it tastes good when you put it on the salad or something. But it's got so many health benefits, I can't even go into it all. Um, again, visit Thomas Delauer's channel. He's linked in the description below. Uh, type in apple cider vinegar benefits. It helps with uh, your insulin sensitivity. It helps with uh, just a whole host of things. But if you're going to get the apple cider vinegar, and if you're not going to do the fasting, it's still a great idea that once a day, in a little glass of water or a bottle of water, take a teaspoon or two, put it in there it's very diluted so it's not bad at all drink it and uh, you'll start feeling a lot of benefits you'll be doing your body good but if you're gonna get the apple cider vinegar you want to get usually I get Bragg's because that's like the mothership of the apple cider vinegar but you don't necessarily have to what you're looking for is the organic raw oops let me see this is backwards, so I'm having a hard time reading it. The organic, raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. And what you're looking for is with the mother. The mother uh, is the sediment. Uh, it's not filtered. So the little bits and pieces and the uh, um, good bacteria that, that, that that's in it... Um, are not strained out of it and that's that's the part that does you good and you can tell if you look at the bottom I don't know if you can see but there's like a sediment down there that's the stuff that you need it's apple cider vinegar you take a little bit you put it in your uh, water um, some people you know it's not bad some people even you know 
take a shot of it and, tra and chase it with a uh, with like some water or something which I don't know why I just wouldn't put it in the water in the first place but you know it's it's got a sharp smell it's vinegar it's apple cider vinegar <laughs> oh, I think I'm blind I need a minute don't ever do that that was stupid some people drink shots of it. I've seen them do it. <coughs> They're better people than I. Just put it in some water. So, without further ado, let me show you how to make the salt water. Before I do, let me do a little bit more explaining. What you're looking for, once again, you know, pink, pink Himalayan salt. That's going to go in there. You need to get this product it doesn't have to be this product but this just happens to be one of the ones that work best it's called no salt it's designed for people that aren't supposed to have salt you're gonna be putting the pink Himalayan salt but the magic ingredient in this if you can see it is well where is it it's a uh, Potassium chloride. I don't know if you can see that or not. Potassium chloride. Well, it's backwards, at least on my screen. But, uh, potassium chloride. Interesting enough, potassium chloride is the same stuff that they use when they lethal inject people, except it's one of the three drug cocktails. And it stops your heart. No, I'm not trying to get you to kill yourself or commit suicide. It's an essential nutrient of your body. Just like anything else, if you drink enough water, it'll kill you. They give those guys like lethal doses of the stuff. But the potassium chloride is essential for doing the... <coughs> Sorry, babe, my throat's still a little, a little messed up. I need some more keto coffee. Oh, that's better. Anyway, um, you need the potassium chloride. Those are the two main ingredients. If you'd like to kick it up a notch, like as a Wolverine, you should always kick it up a notch or two when you can. Uh, throw in what I got here. No, you don't want cinnamon. That'd just be disgusting. I'm not that much of a of a rebel. Cayenne pepper again. Uh, I think I have some turmeric in here. I hope another cayenne pepper. Pretend that this is turmeric. I already put my coffee stuff up, or I'll just show you one of those. Turmeric and uh, cayenne pepper. Lemon juice. water now this is baking soda you can make this concoction up with the baking soda skip the vinegar I'm not going to tell you why but if you want to find out mix vinegar and baking soda together and see what happens but this kind of helps cleanse your it cools your kidneys off because if you're going to be like doing this, your body's going to be flushing lots of toxins. This stuff, at least once a week, mixed with the water, minus the baking soda, or the apple cider vinegar, the double juice, uh, that will help clean your kidneys out. So that's really, really good, really important. Works very well. When it comes to the potassium chloride, do not. Okay, according to these directions, potassium chloride, serving size, one quarter teaspoon. One quarter teaspoon, okay? Do not go over one tablespoon in a day because you will seriously yourself up. Like I said, it's a, if you go to the health food store and you're trying to get some potassium supplements because it's a, it's a, your body needs it, it's a central nutrient, like I said. There's a reason why they only come in tiny little doses because you can overdo it. But if you're not a dumbass, 
and you follow directions and use no more than one teaspoon in a day, you're fine. You're well under the the recommended daily allowance of what you're supposed to have. And you can actually go a little bit more than that. That's just the recommended. I don't recommend it. Just stick with, you know, if you're going to drink two or two of these a day, you're only going to do, you know, a half a teaspoon anyway. Um, and there's no reason why you should drink any more than that because you're not, you know, drink this for the, um, for the, uh, the benefits of the electrolytes, but drink regular water throughout the rest of the day. Okay. All right. Now this is how you make the hell, the nasty ass, tastes like ass juice. But I'm telling you, it works great. Hold on while I turn the camera around. Please. Okay, the making of the seltzer water, or actually it's just regular water. This happens to be seltzer water because that's what I had. I ran out of uh, regular water. Um, but the making of the pish juice. Himalayan pink salt. With the Himalayan pink salt, you're going to want, and these are pretty much equal parts, uh, equal parts of a quarter teaspoon, that's a tablespoon, stupid, that's a half a teaspoon, idiot. Now let's go half a teaspoon, okay? Half a teaspoon of, yeah, half a teaspoon of the Himalayan pink salt. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Himalayan pink salt. Half a teaspoon. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm going to make another mess, guys, but I'll clean it up. Don't you worry. Close enough. Half a teaspoon going in. Oh, this is going to suck. It's seltzer water. Okay, so let's reconvene with uh, the science experiment with the Wolverine. I ain't drinking that. It's seltzer water. And if that's doing that in there, I don't know what's going to do for the guts. Pretend this is just regular water. Okay, guys? Half teaspoon. Sodium chloride. This stuff pours easier. Half a teaspoon. Please don't overflow. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> Pretend that this is cayenne. Or not cayenne, but turmeric. Oh that well you don't wouldn't want to do if it's turmeric, you probably want to do an eighth of a teaspoon. So I would do that. Bam, cool. The cayenne. Now the cayenne, we're going to put that bad boy up to a quarter teaspoon. Like so. Bam. And then we're going to go with a cap full of lemon juice again for the kidneys. Cap full of the lemon juice. Bam. The Devil's Elixir. This is a measure, it's just by the glug, because it is really good for you. Whether your taste buds and your senses might tell you otherwise. Put about that much in there. Now normally at this point, I would shake it up to combine all the ingredients. However, this is seltzer water. And when you shake seltzer, well, you know what happens, but see if I can lightly agitate this thing 
Well, the Cayenne's not. Okay, this might, this might go bad, guys. Boom. Should I? See the chunk of cayenne floating around in there? Okay. Cross your fingers. Hope to die. Get a cayenne infused jigger of seltzer water in the eye. Huh. The salts and all that stuff might have took the bubbles out. Okay. Anyway. See if you can see me. Because I can't see it on this side. Cheers. I don't want to do this. <clears throat> Throat's still a little messed up from the vinegar fiasco, but anyway. It doesn't taste the greatest, but you get used to it. And with the cayenne and the turmeric and all that stuff in there, kind of tastes like a dinner in a liquid form. But since I'm not doing, since I'm not doing the uh, fasting part yet, that can go bye bye. All right, so we covered a few of the recipes I'm gonna be using, except for one, and that would be my favorite dessert now you might be asking yourself is there room for dessert on a keto diet and my answer would be no not really but this is how you this is how you keep up with things this is how you stay on the bandwagon you give yourself little treats when you have to have something on excuse me again on the rare occasions that you have to have something there's better choices than others. And one of the things that uh, I like to use very sparingly, maybe once every couple months or so, if I'm staying to it something long term, is this. So hold on, let me flip this around, and I'll pause you, and I'm going to get out something I think you guys will really like. Alright, guys, the final installment dessert. The very rare occasion when you absolutely have to have something and that Snickers bar is calling your name, there are better choices that you can make. One of them is one of my go-tos and that is whoop, berries. Now berries have sugar, yes they do, but you're not eating a lot of them. Believe it or not, that's about four or five strawberries. Um, medium-sized handful of blueberries and if you do the math the fiber the grams of fiber versus the uh, amount of carbohydrates is not too bad so berries is a good choice if you have to very rare very occasionally okay now I could take a spoon and just start eating this thing or hold on, let me drink some keto coffee Or you could wolver, wolverineize the berries. What do I mean by that? Watch and learn. Open this. Reach right, over here. Grab some of this. Remember, we want fat whenever we can get it, right? And there's a few other things. Hold on a second. Let me grab my coffee fixings. Okay, where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. A spoon. Okay, now check this out. You're gonna love this. And don't don't knock it till you try it. I'm telling you. You want to incorporate certain things as often as we can. Even if you're going off keto a little bit, you want some fat. You're gonna want you know get some cayenne and turmeric every chance you can get. No, do not put turmeric in this. That'd just be very unwolverine-ish. But follow this. Just watch 
and learn and try it for yourselves. I'm telling you, you'll love it. Magic bullet. Who buries that way? Magic bullet. Open that bad boy up. Heavy whipping cream. Open that bad boy up. Actually, let me close that bad boy back up. I don't know why. My mom always shake milk and stuff, so I, I guess I kind of have to do it too. The ratios, I don't know. About that much. Yeah. Okay. I think you guys might see where this is going. Oh yeah, cocoa. Now do I got your attention? What'd I do with that stupid spoon? There it is. Cocoa. Put some of the cocoa in there. I like cocoa. Okay, and now that that's in there, this is unsweetened cocoa, and I kind of like bitter things anyway, but maybe not that kind of bitter. One packet of stevia. <clears throat> now, before you say, oh, come on, wait a minute. And or throw your phone out the window if you're watching this as you're riding, riding, not driving. Or throw your phone across the uh, uh, room. <clears throat> Just listen. Yes. Cayenne pepper. I'm telling you, it works. If you go get some fancy candy bars at the candy stores, some of them, will, you can see like the real fancy ones, have different flavors. One of the kinds that you can get is chili like a chili flavored chocolate bar and it's really good this will get you some of the stuff in that you need every day for the health benefits plus it tastes really good you'd be surprised now how much do you put in there that's up to your own level of pain I like a lot of pain so I put I don't know if you can see that that is quite a bit that is probably I don't know but that's that's a lot of cayenne pepper Watch this. Bam. It works, I'm telling you. Put the lid on that. You grab your base. Don't forget that. Make sure it's on good and tight. And watch and learn. Go in there, stupid. Yeah. You're gonna make like a whip poppy sort of thing. You don't want that to go too long or you burn up the motor. And slowly but surely it's gonna start thickening. Let me see. Might need a little bit more blitzing, guys. Perfect. Hey, we've got chocolate mousse, fellas and fillets. Now, that'll settle down. I think I made too much. Not that it won't get consumed, because I'm not on keto at the moment. But you put some of that on there, like so. It was hollow. Come on, guys. I'm telling you, you really, really got to try it. See that? Just mix it all together. You got to have yourself a sweet treat. This does absolutely minimum damage. And it's better than a stupid old candy bar any day, I'm telling you. Now, if you want to get 
if you want to be a real rebel, you can sprinkle some more on top. I put enough in there for me. Anyway, check it out. You guys are welcome. Anyway, guys and gals, there you have it. The plan of the reinvention of the Wicked Wolverine, the physical part. Hopefully there is no funny things that happen when I get to the financials. I, AKA the trying to slug vinegar kind of stupid thing. The equivalent of that, whatever that may be. But anyway, thank you for uh, watching. Hopefully you got some <clears throat> enjoyment out of it, maybe a little bit of knowledge de parte. Um, if you guys could be so kind as to like, share, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Until then, somebody's calling me. I shall take no calls while I am making a video. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, like, subscribe, and share. I'd very much appreciate it. Uh, bonus! I got a bonus for y'all. Now, a lot of you guys may not know this, but like many people, hey, Keto Coffee, I have been a slave to this stuff for a little while, but I'm quitting that too. I'm going to lump that in on it. As a matter of fact, you see that? See that? And there's stuff in there. See that? I might need it. But I'm transitioning to that, a vape. Not for long, just to wean me off. It's got the three milliliters of whatever, nicotine or whatever. But by December 31st of 2019, totally vapor, vapo, whatever it's called, free. So until that time, until next time, uh, halten Sie die Gumsei nach unten. Ciao.